Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer for the Asian Synodal Continental Assembly Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. He lived among us and led us from darkness of sin to the light of your salvation. He has destroyed the barrier that separated us from each other. He has made us one through his loving obedience to you. When he offered his life for us on the cross, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, who continues to guide us and teach us the way we must go as your church. We thank you for the fruits of the Synod on Synodality that have opened us to genuine communion, active participation, and emboldened mission. We humbly pray for the success of the Asian Synodal Continental Assembly. May your Spirit continue to set us, our hearts aflame, with your love for all peoples and nations. Continue to open our eyes and hearts to follow the way of your Son, Jesus, who taught us to walk with each other as brother and sisters, to be his body, his church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In our gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is telling us to forgive not only seven times, but seventy times seven. Meaning God's merciful to us and forgiveness is unlimited. 
In a special way, we include our personal intentions. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so, pre and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your Holy One, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray for you. Do not let us be put to shame but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. 
Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinner the way. He guides the humble to justice, he, te he teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We praise you, we bless you, we worship and adore you, Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him, who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property. In payment of the debt, in that the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion the master of the servant, let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe me. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison. Until he paid the back, until he paid back the debt, now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. You should not have pity. Had pity on your fellow servants, as I have pity on you. Then, in anger, his master handed him over to the tor torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. One of the most common and yet so difficult to apply na word na meron tayo is the word forgiveness. Okay? When or sabi natin forgive. Okay? At kung makikita natin yung word na forgive, we need to give to emphasize on the word give, di ba? Kaya nga kung titingnan natin, kung i-translate natin yung forgive sa or forgiveness sa Tagalog, pagpapatawad. Okay? Tawad. Pag nagpapatawad tayo, binabawasan natin yung mga kasalanan or yung galit natin. Okay? Bakit ka nagpapatawad? Kasi nga, merong nagawa yung isang tao sa'yo na nakakasakit sa'yo. Na dinadala mo. Okay? 
So you are carrying that sin or that anger, that guilt, okay? that pain. So, hindi lang ikaw na nasaktan, but even that person, dahil yung, kahit yung isang taong yan na nakagawa sa'yo ng kamalian, meron din siyang dinadala. And that is guilt. Okay? Siguro, bakit ko kaya nagawa iyon? Bakit hindi ko sana nalang ginawa? Sabi ko nga, one of the hardest thing to say is to say sorry. Okay? Sometimes, mas nangingibabaw sa atin yung ating pride and we are not practicing humility in that for that matter. Kasi pag tayo na ang nagrabyado, tayo na ang nasaktan, gusto natin iparamdam din sa taong yan kung gaano natin naramdaman yung pinaramdam niya sa atin. But Jesus is telling us that it is easy to say sorry if we are, if that comes from our heart. Kung na- nangyari na yan, wala tayong magagawa. Pero, anong sabi ni Jesus Christ? Not only seven times that we should forgive, but seventy times seven. The forgiveness of God is unlimited. Kaya kung titignan natin, ang Diyos nga, nagpapatawad tayo pa kaya. Yeah, it's true. It, depend, it depends on the gravity of the situation. But, ang Diyos naman, hindi niya tinitignan kung gaano kabigat yan. What is important is that the intention to ask for forgiveness, the intention to forgive that person, hindi yung pinapairal natin yung ating emosyon. Siguro, isa, dalawa, pangat, tatlong araw, galit pa tayo, ayaw pa natin magbigay, but the more that we keep that pain, the more that we keep that anger, the more din na nabibigatan tayo. Kaya nga God is telling us today that we recognize that anger, that pain, Kailangan natin i-acknowledge na tayo ay nasaktan ng ibang tao. But hindi dapat 'yan patagalin. Sabi ko nga, yung word na sorry man lang is nakakagaan din 'yan not only for you na nasaktan but even to the person who was who is asking for forgiveness. Two-way ran 'yan. Hindi lang ikaw, dalawa kayo na magbe-benefit siyan. So my dear brothers and sisters, every now and then we pray the Our Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins us, who trespass against us. Meaning to say, every now and then we are praying that God is reminding us that part of our life is to offer forgiveness and part of our life is to accept forgiveness also. It's a beautiful word to offer forgiveness and to accept forgiveness in our life. Kaya nga nagpapatawad ka, humihingi ka ng tawad kasi nga binabawasan mo yung sakit na nararamdaman ng ibang tao and at the same time, binabawasan mo din kung ano yung meron ka sa yung dinadala. Okay? So that is two-way run um, principle. So my dear brothers and sisters, God is telling us today, if we can only freely forgive others people, uh, other people for those wrongdoings they have done to us, then siguro we have the mind of God in our life. We have the, the intention to follow God's will, especially with this season of Lent. We are all sinners. We ask for the forgiveness of our sins. And God is offering us that kind of forgiveness. Sabi ko nga, it is not only seven times, but seventy times seven na binibigyan tayo ng pagpapatawad ng Diyos. Every now and then, we offer ourselves, we ask the Lord to cleanse, to forgive our sins. Then Jesus is telling us, I am here to listen, 
to accept you again as my as as one who is willing to ask for forgiveness. Siguro yun ang pwede nating basis, okay? Hindi yung pinapairal natin na bahala ka diyan. Nasakit la unay tin pa iti inaramid mo kanya. And that is our mentality. Our behavior should tell us na hanggang mamatay ako, hindi kita papapatawarin. Wow naman. Ang Diyos nga, pag nadapa tayo sa kasalanan, He can easily forgive us. Tayo pa kaya, na mortal lamang na tao. So sometimes, let us try to check ourselves. Hindi na ata siguro um, pagmamahal yung umiiral sa ating buso. Kundi yan na sinasabi nating pride. Okay? Let us try to humble ourselves in front of God. Saying sorry is not a defeat, but it's just only telling to other people that I am accepting you again. Siguro, hindi natin maikakailan na meron ng lapat yan, meron ng scar yan sa abuhay natin. And we cannot easily give the 100% na trust yan pag the moment na, na nasira yung tiwala. But what is important is that is slowly you are offering yourself again. You are freely freeing yourself again to accept the person. Okay? Yun siguro yung magandang uh, epekto ng pagpapatawad to ask for forgiveness. You are freely opening again yourself. Okay? Hindi lang yung pag nakita mo yung taong yan, ay, yan yung nagpahirap sa akin. Yan, may kasalanan yan sa akin. Sige. Pag, mama, pag may time lang, bahala, makakara, makakatikim ka din sa akin. So, hindi na yun, hindi na siya healthy. What is now going on to you is that meron ng revenge. Okay? And that should not be. Pag tayo talaga ay anak ng Diyos, we can offer our love. And love means to forgive one another. Kaya nga, to give something in return. So my dear brothers and sisters, we might not, is, uh, we might not get easily give our forgiveness to other people. But let us try, and let us try to pattern ourselves in the life of Jesus who can easily forgive those who sin- our sins before Him because that is the mind of God, of God that we may be able to get away from the pain and guilt and anger in our hearts. To say sorry is not a defeat, but it is an achievement to, to do because you can just only, pinapakita mo lang, na meron kang uh, intention, good intention para to build again a good relationship to one another. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church set free by the blood of Christ may live in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian churches may be brought together in the unity of one gospel of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may learn to forgive and understand one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us may learn the mercy of Jesus and forgive one another from the heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, sustain us always with your love and mercy and help us to offer forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Kung hinatang 
Kapin ang alay na ito, mga biyayang nagmula sa pagpapalabo. Tanda ng bawat puso pagkat inibig mo. Ngayon na nananig, nagmamahal sa iyo. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your mighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and bring from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Ricardo Way Bishop and all the clergy. The members of our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all you have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but the Deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant this in our days, that by the help of your mercy, be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel behold the Lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed the body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us but pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. O God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assail them that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, do you do we plead to us God our Father for help in our need Ave 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 Maria Ave 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 Please kneel. Prayer before the crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with your burdened soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me. And calling to mind the word of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to thy in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.